Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to edit this lesson template. This PowerPoint lesson template can be used for regular teaching, demo teaching or COT. So let's start. As you can see, this lesson template is not just an ordinary PowerPoint presentation. It has stunning visuals like the 3D text with golden effects. It also has the rotating animation which is not the usual animation effects you can see elsewhere. In order for you to see the entire slide including the rotating visuals, you can click the zoom in and out scroll bar below the slide. You can edit the title text by clicking on it. This is the normal way of editing a text. This template can be used for any subject such as science, English, math, social, and any grade levels, etc. because this is editable. For example, your topic is verbs. So just type it in. Then we can add here kinds and definitions. Again, you can edit this with any topic you want depending on the subject you will be teaching. Then you can replace the name of school here. Let's say St. Anthony School. Then let's put the address below. Let's say Manila here. Now the name. You can put your name here. Let's say Mary Gomez. Now let's go to the next slide. This is the prayer slide. So, it is the same thing or the same way of editing the text. So if you want to use the Filipino language, you can edit the text this way. You can also change the font size to make it smaller or bigger depending on your choice. So this is for the prayer slide. Then the next part is the attendance and greetings. Then the classroom rules. Same process on how to edit the texts. Let's proceed to the next part of the lesson, which is the energizer. So here you can replace the video by clicking insert then video. Then the next slide is the review part of the lesson. The review is in the form of a game, a spin wheel game. So here, we have the spin wheel. These questions and answers are also editable. After the review game, we will now proceed to the lesson proper. So this is also editable. Just key in your topic here like this. Next up is the objectives of the lesson. Then the motivation part of the lesson. The motivation part of the lesson is a text twist game. So text twist, as the title suggests, it is identifying what the word is by the given twisted word. So the letters are scrambled and you are given a clue which is the definition. The student should be able to determine the right word. This is how you can edit this text twist. For example, the word is out. You need to check on the arrow which goes to the first box on top. It means that is the first letter. So this one should be letter O. Then for letter U, check on the arrow that go towards the second box on top. So this is U. And for the last letter which is T, it is here.
There. Perfect. Now this is for the four-letter word. So to replace this with a different four-letter word, just check on the arrows that go to the first box, the second box, the third, and the fourth. Now this is for the five-letter word. Now if you cannot see the arrows, the moment you open this PowerPoint, all you need to do is to click on the Animation tab on the menu bar on top. See there are no arrows so to make the arrows visible again, just click on the animation tab on the menu bar on top. See, the arrows show up when you click on the animation tab. Now this text twist game came along with templates for any length of words. Be it 3 letter word to 4 to 5 to even 10 letter word. Now the next part of the lesson is the lesson proper. This is where you will discuss your lesson. Now, after discussing your lesson, it is time for the text or assessment. This activity is called Team Battle where team boys will compete with team girls of your class. The will do the paper rock and scissors first in order to determine which team goes first in the game. So here is the team battle slide. Boys versus girls. Click on the chess for the question categories. Click on the first icon for the first activity. For example, the boys will go first. Here, the player will choose the correct letter that corresponds to his answer. There is a 45 seconds timer here. The bomb on top shows the lifeline. If the boys answered it correctly, they will advance yes. two steps forward. Yes! Then it's girls' turn now for the second activity. This time it is Pictionary Game. You may edit this game in any way you want. There is also a timer here. Now for the third icon, it is guessing the title of the song. You can also edit this activity depending on your topic. You can connect your topic to any music-related activity. Yes! Yes! Now for the fourth category. It is a charades game. This is also editable so you can adjust it and connect it to your topic. <coughs> now for the fifth category. It is an analysis activity. You may also edit this and connect it to your topic. You just need to incorporate photos or pictures that are related to your topic and let the player identify each. This is interactive since the player needs to type in his answer on this field. Yes! After those activities, we are now on the generalization and abstraction part of the lesson. The students need to complete the sentences by filling in the blanks in the sentences. Again, this is also editable meaning you can connect it to your topic. Now we will now go to the evaluation part of the lesson. This is a 5 multiple choice quiz.
and after the multiple choice quiz, there will be five items of identification test. The answers are randomly written here. Again, these are editable, so you can edit these words here. Of course, the last part of the lesson, which is the assignment. What are you waiting for? You may get this template so you will have an impressive and engaging lesson and presentation with your students. You can get this only for 99 pesos or $2.